Hello everyone, this morning we're going to be looking at some tips for timber holes. I've had another great question about how to put these in and I think it's worth having a, a, a quick video just to pass on some of the tips that might be helpful to you for, for putting these in. So we've got a bit of a goal post frame here and we're going to put some timber holes in the beam and the two columns. Um, so the first thing um, to, to highlight here is that we're going to be using the bolts for this. We're not cutting holes or anything like that, we're going to use the use the bolt tool for this. Um, and there's a couple of ways, I do it slightly differently, um, but principally you're going to be wanting to, to apply um, these bolts in these two ways, so I'll show you sort of the two main ways. So, the, the first tip I'm going to give you is to make sure, and this goes for all bolts, make sure that the axis for the bolts is as close to the plane through which the bolts are going as possible. This means that the bolts will go through all the plies properly, you'll get proper um, bolt calculations, that kind of thing. Um, so what, what that means is, when I'm applying them to the outer face of this column, I select the column, like so, and then I pick the centre of, the, of the, the outer flange and then the centre of the outer flange at the top there. Um, and then I get a bolt. Now, I haven't manipulated the dimensions for those bolts, so it's exactly where I thought it would be, and the ping was just to let me know that the edge distance um, isn't sufficient, but now I'm going to correct that. So, the first thing I want to do is move it up the column. So I can I can clearly move, use the move tools and do it that way, but I can do all of, I can control these bolts within this dialog. So, if I put an offset down here in the DX start direction, if I put an offset 50 mil in there, that will project that bolt towards the end, the other end of the axis, 50 mil. All right. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to want is some bolt centers. Um, so I'm going to go across here and I'm going to say let's put them in at 120. That's the vertical, excuse me, the horizontal is the Y plane, so then we've got 120 across and you can see the bolt calculation is now completed just through that one ply. All right. Um, but with timber holes, generally um, you want to increase the spacings with those. So in X direction, which is in the axis direction, that's an important thing to remember. Um, we want to increase that to maybe 600 centers. So we've got a pair of bolts, or a pair of holes rather, 600 centers. But how about doing multiple rows? How do we do that? Now again, we can just copy those bolts, but a smarter way to do it is just to put a multiplier in the direction of the bolts. So you can put five Five, um, five pairs at 600 centers and hit modify and that will create a few more bolts. Now that's gone beyond, um, so we want to reduce that to four, like so. And then if you just want to make those holes, just use this tool here just to take the bolt out and then when we redraw that view and actually I need to bring the bolts in exact solid and make them visible, you will see we've got just the holes, all right? Now, the tip that I was going to give you is um, around centering these bolts because obviously, as you can see, those bolts aren't centered about the, the column. Um, they are uh, distributed even in, and if I want to distribute them sort of around the center, I've got to calculate what that center point is and adjust the offsets and things like that. But there is a quicker way. Um, and you noticed that I was manipulating the spacing of the bolts in the X direction, which, so X is always along the line of the axis and Y is always perpendicular. Okay, but I can I can use that to my advantage. So, first of all, what I'm gonna do with this, I'll, I'll demonstrate this on the other side. What I want to do is find the center point of the flange of this column. And for this, I'm gonna use one of the point tools under edit, and I'm gonna use online, and I'm gonna use a, a single point. So I'm gonna, in other words, I'm gonna divide the two points I pick by one. So if I pick the two extremes of those columns, I then get a point on the center line. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to draw my bolt, but this time I'm going to draw it in the y-axis rather than the x-axis, which is the, as you remember, the x-axis is in the in the um, is in the, the direction of the axis of the of the, the selection points, the handles. So if I go perpendicularly from that point to the, the toe of the column, um, you'll see that the bolts that we had are wrong, so they're running in the direction we expected, but they're not right for this column. So I need to do a couple of things. What I need to do is I need to reverse these values. 
Okay, so let's do that and I need to rotate that so that it's on the right plane. So I need to change it from front to top. So now they're in the right plane, but now they're offset. Okay, so now I need to remove this offset. And actually what I need to do is, is send that in the other direction to center these. So the, off, the, the centers is 120, so we're going to offset that 60 to centralize them. But what you can see straight away is that the bolts are distributed evenly around the center line of the column. Okay, so what I've done is I've, I've just to reiterate, I've worked out the center point, I've run my bolts in the y-axis, so that what that results in is when I've got my bolt spacing specifications in Y, they're distributed evenly around the center line, either side of the center line of that column. All right, so that is a much simpler way to centralize and distribute the bolts around the center of a member. Okay. Um, one other one other question you're probably um, probably dying to ask me is well, what if the bolt centers are staggered? Um, now. This happens frequently, um, but I've got a little I've got a little trick for you here as well. So let's get rid of that work area box so we can see clearly. Um, so my 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 trick here is is you can you you can use either one of these um, either one of these techniques for putting the bolts in. But what I'll do is is I will reproduce them the way I had them before. So let's pick the beam and then let's pick the two endpoints two handles for the, the axis here, let's pick there, and then we've got some bolts, okay. But if we want to stagger them, we can, what we can do is we can sit here and we can we can manipulate these these dimensions here to create an offset, okay, but um, you, you could use one of these settings as well, but there's a quicker way. Um, so if you go down to your selection, um, your, your selection tools, and you pick a single bolt, what that will allow you to do is pick an individual hole in this array and delete it. Okay, so I can pick those holes and I can delete them and I can create a stagger. Okay, like so. Okay, so fantastic. But how, how does that help with the speed? What you can do is if you double click on that now, you'll retrieve the information for the staggered, um, the staggered array and you'll see that the dimensions in X and Y have been changed to suit. Okay, what you can now do with that is save it as a standard file here. Okay, so let's have a look. We've got 22 diameter bolts at 600 staggered centers. So we can put something in here that's meaningful to us. So we could say uh, 22 diameter, 22 diameter, uh, 120 centers and 600. Okay, 600 centers. And then we can save that. Well, now we can recall that. Okay, so. The next time we've got a similar array to this, we can just recall this. And what that allows us to do is draw that really quickly. So let me demonstrate that to you now. Let's get rid of just those holes. And we go to bolt, and then we load in a standard just to show you that I've cleared it. And then we can pull that in. We can apply that to the beam. So pick the beam, pick the endpoint, pick the other end. By the way, you don't have to pick the end, it just has to be in the direction. And then we've got a staggered hole. All right, I hope this video is helpful. Um, do obviously hit the, the like, subscribe buttons if you want to. Um, I'll be updating this with lots of hits, hints and tips over, well, <laughs> as long as I can, as long as I'll continue doing it. Um, let me know if you want any tips and tricks on any subjects um, that you that you like, um, and yeah, I'll see you next time.